following stream has been approved for all puzzle audiences by the Puzzle General Community. All right, and we should be live. Welcome everybody to this delayed match for the Mystery Puzzle Challenge. I am Dark Aries, and with me I have Blasphemous Roar. How's it going, Blas? Hey guys! As if you haven't gotten tired of hearing me before. Also, you gotta fix the echo. I'm coming through your speakers. Yeah, because you're like extremely loud on my end. Hold on. All right, we should be good. All right. It's still there a little bit. Yeah, I fixed it. There we go. Okay, it fixed. So yeah, this game today will be uh, Adventures of Lolo 2, the Japanese version, which is one of the hardest... Oh, this is the English version. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. The Japanese version is notorious for being one of the hardest puzzle games you will ever not play. Uh, the English version, though, is pretty standard difficulty. Alright, and our countdown's just about to start here. Cool. Everything has started. We're good. We're good. All right. Let me see here. I'm just trying to refresh Sully's stream so I can make sure that I'm seeing him moving. It doesn't look like he is on my side. Hmm. Yeah, Aaron's frozen for me as well, but he was definitely working. Yeah, Aaron seems to be working on my side, but Sully is not moving anywhere. So mm. this is uh, this is Lolo, where Lolo is trying to go save Lala. Now, you may, if you've played a lot of games, you might somehow recognize this little blue ball walking around. Lolo and Lala are two villains used in the Kirby series. They'll often be found pushing blocks around, and you have to suck up the blocks and hit them with it. Or they'll push a spike at you, for instance. So this is their solo adventure as they are trying to get through these towers and clear them to save the other. So the main mechanics behind this game are that you need to collect all the heart tokens in order to progress. The Once you do collect them all, the chest will open, and if you grab the chest, all the enemies will die and the door will open. Some of those heart containers have a... Uh, we'll have a 
magic shot in them. Those will allow you to turn enemies temporarily into eggs, which will allow you to uh, stun them for a bit or push them around, use them to block other enemies. Because you're going to see a number of enemy types here, starting with, for instance, the, the, the snakes on Dark Fox's screen are... They really do just sit there and do nothing. But the uh, the rhino on Aaron Dobb and Devolution Derby there, they'll kind of, or I say rhino, but it's it's more like a armadillo, really, with legs like that. But it'll roll fast if it sees you, and it'll also constantly run roll and run um, clock, or no, I guess it doesn't go clockwise, but it'll keep changing direction every time it hits another area. So there are a lot of, of, of things that you're going to see in this in different usage of those items. Because overall in this game, a lot of the mechanics don't really change. Also, uh, these enemies that Aaron Dobb is fighting off against are fun. They'll run at you and then fall asleep. They just sleep. Yeah, this is one of the times where reading the pace spin, which this game actually had for once, is super useful because you can figure out that you can reset the stage early instead of yeah, waiting for you to die. There are some really important rules for winning in mystery tournaments and puzzles and the like, and that is to always read the pace spin, always push every button, and always kind of um, watch the demo. If the game puts a demo forward after being on the title for too long watch that because this one actually does show all the rules inside of this demo so you'll understand a lot better so the enemies that we're going to see on on Devo's um, screen right now we're going to see these Medusa heads those will shoot you if you are in a cross section of them these blocks that are in this level as well will kind of stop if you get next to them. Similar to how the other uh, enemies, the ones that fall asleep, except the ones that fall asleep stay asleep forever. The blocks just stop for just a moment. I'm still coming through on your speakers. I'm not seeing anything on my end. Okay. I would have to check the stream to see if it's coming through, if it's just me, likely. Okay, yeah, it's fine on the stream. That's good. Looks like so far everybody is on the same stage right now, except for Dark Fox, which is lagging a bit behind. He's probably playing at more the same pace that I was when I was blind testing this game. So we'll see how long yeah. it takes for him to uh, figure things out here. Well, being slow and methodical is kind of sort of Im massively important in this game. That once you push something and you there, there's no like you mentioned in the tester note, there is no undo option. There is nothing they can do to fix what situation they've gotten themselves into. Like Aaron here getting stuck between that block golem and the like. Uh, just not being able to go anywhere because he's got to figure out something to do with those enemies and keep them away from that area or make a move when those enemies are not around basically because it turns out blocks like to block you in and like there he made the mistake of trying to go for it without letting those enemies go through now it is a note that there is a live system in this however I believe there's infinite continues isn't there yeah, you can continue as many times as you want. And it doesn't put you back any floors? No. At least I don't think so. Fairly certain it doesn't. So it looks like Devolution Derby there made the right call of actually waiting for those blocks to move about. And Dark Fox looks like he did not continue? Yeah, so... What actually happened here was that uh, he reopened the game because he didn't realize that uh, it was unlimited continues or something at first. He made the Oof. very first mistake of not reading the pace pin fully. Yup. There, there was a game, Bonk's Revenge, where upon the pace pin mentioned that you could grab onto walls and slide around them. So we watched as one runner got to that part, didn't know they could grab onto the walls and slide around them, 
and basically got walled by a wine glass for 10 minutes plus. This is, <laughs> this is why you read the paste bin. Any information that any of the testers, any of the moderators give you is fair grounds. Any information the game gives you is fair grounds. So if it's playing a demo while you are waiting for your opponent, watch that. It's going to tell you stuff. It's going to tell you rules in some puzzle games. It'll tell you, it'll show off the character going through an area that might show up that might benefit you from having seen how they did it. Any info the game gives you, because you're not allowed to look at any info outside the game. You cannot look up any walkthroughs or strategy guides or uh, even really Google information about the game. You are, you are flying blind only by what the game gives you. So if you use that to your advantage, you can find out info by just paying attention. And it looks like Aaron actually screwed up there by pushing that block half a square forward. Oh no. Yeah, it's one of the weird things about this game is that it lets you push it a half block forward, but it still counts as if it was a full block forward with regards to re movement restrictions. Yeah, so he realized he messed up there and had to restart it. So, Aaron Dub is a... Uh, common competitor in mystery tournament um he runs games such as rabby ribby i know we were talking when i was playing that game on my stream um so he, he is a, a speed runner and does a lot of games um and does fairly well in mystery tournament uh pxoxd whom i'll be referring to as sully because that's his username on the mystery um discord and it's easier to say than pxoxd all the time uh, he's a fairly newcomer. Um, after watching some of our Mystery Funhouse streams, ended up showing up and uh, has been doing a lot of blind races ever since. Um, Devolution and Dark Fox, those are both uh, regulars in Puzzle General, aren't they? Uh, Dark Fox is a uh, regular for NASA stuff. New to okay. Puzzle General. Devolution Derby is a Puzzle General regular, yeah. Oh, and Aaron made a misstep. Gets himself killed. Yeah, during this level, you have to be really thought. You have to be really mindful of what the vision of those uh, spike throwy things are, Medusa heads, as you call them. Yeah, because they look kind of like little Medusa statues. And they fire gay. They look at you and they fire you and turn you into stone. That's what they do. So we have now Dark Fox is slowly catching up there. Hopefully he can make up from this time loss. Because restarting is painful. Uh huh. So Aaron definitely knows how to solve this level. He's just having some execution errors. Like he's just not seeing that he's got the solution right in front of him. He just has to push that block all the way to the left to block off that statue and then yep. push the other one all the way to the left and move it up to block off the other statue. You may he have do? realized it. Pushes that one in kind of a bit of an odd position because he just doesn't see the shorter option, but it looks like he's definitely got the right idea, and he is done. Well, I don't so necessarily first... think that that was the shorter option. I think it was the only option because as soon as you slide it, you would have gotten hit by the spikes. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm sorry. That is correct. The other one was blocking off from one of the heads. See, and that's not why I'm not currently racing. So, the enemies that Aaron's about to see here is once you get all the hearts, those skulls start acting up. Yeah, when I was testing this, I realized that because I think one of the first stages has the skulls. So, I tried to block off as many as I could before I grabbed the rest of the hearts. Yeah, Looks and like that's, what, that's what he might be doing now. So that's kind of what you have to do. You have to put the snakes in a position where they're blocking off the skulls as well. Because um, if you don't realize, again, in the demo, it does mention that you have those magic shots that turn your enemies into eggs. 
I don't know what Aaron thinks he's accomplishing by this, though. We're about to find out. Dark Fox is still stuck on that stage trying to figure out how the Medusa heads work fully. So he successfully blocked off two of them, but he's still got those other four causing too much turmoil. I think I think his goal was to outrun them, but he now realizes that that was a mistake. Oh man, that clutch survival from Dark Fox up there. Enemy just walks right up to him, pushes him almost into the Medusa statue, but he managed to not get screwed over by it. So, this is going to be a case of like... I don't know, have they had to turn any of the enemies into eggs before this level? You... From what I remember in my playtesting, you definitely could. And you definitely should have in one of the earlier levels, but I think it wasn't mandatory per se. That was more I found out because I was button mashing, trying to figure out how everything works. So... I'm pretty yeah. sure they skipped that, so this might be the first stage where they actually have to realize that uh, you need to turn the snakes into those snowballs or eggs or whatever they are. Like I said, you, I cannot emphasize it enough. You have to read the pace bins, you have to press the buttons. Oh, and Aaron pushes it off into the corner. And like all uh -huh. Sako Band games, once you get something up on a wall, you better be real careful where it's going next. Yeah, that's uh, not usable anymore. Looks like Devilish and Derby's also on the same stage as Aaron now. Oh, nice. So now he's going to do the same thing. He's going to go over there, grab the hearts, thinking, man, this is an easy level. Because it does, it looks so easy, it looks so pleasant and peaceful, and you just run around, grab the hearts, welcome to floor two, thank you for coming, and then the skulls are like, no. Yep. No. He tried to juke him too. So Aaron's still got the right idea of blocking him off, he's just not realizing that he has extra things to block him off with. Because that middle heart there specifically will give him the shots that he needs to turn those into eggs. Not all of the heart tokens have magic shots to them, but the same mag sh heart tokens will always have the same shots inside of them in every level. So it looks like his plan is to block off four of them and try to outrun the other two. That might actually work as an idea. I think that's how I solved it. Oh, and he doesn't get there. Because I remember that I didn't actually block off all of them. Although I think I left the bottom ones perfectly fine because I could just run straight up. Yeah, Dev just tried to do that and it, it did not work. And it looks like Aaron might be doing the same. So this is unfortunate that they're getting through this level without seeing that mechanic because that is a core and important mechanic in this game. You need your heart shots. So it looks like he's trying to make it easier on himself, trying to choose different combinations of skull here. He's going for the middle ones this time. Oh, he does it! He turns the snake into an egg! He figures this out! He's got all of them blocked off! Dang. Aaron, moving on! Look at those poor skulls. They can't do anything. They just chuckle at you, and those snakes are freaking out too. They're like, what's going on? Oh god. Oh god, there's a skull that's up in my face. So, um, this level is miserable. You have to run around and collect all those hearts without those golems stopping on you. And, uh, because once they do, they put you in a bad position, and you have to restart. Yep. That's probably the most annoying part about this stage, like, otherwise it's perfectly easy, it's just the fact that you have to avoid those golems. Yeah, and you have to do it for so long, too, like, this game, this level is not, looks like it should be easy, and then it's just there's so many holes that you can get stuck in. 
And Aaron seems to be doing a pretty good job of not getting stuck in the hole, so I said that and it looked like it rather dangerous there. Uh, might be He's good. playing a dangerous game here. Oh! Oh! This is exciting. There is... There is... There is nothing quite like this level in Lolo. So the goal for this is only to beat Floor 2, correct? Yep. So we see Aaron's definitely got close there. And now he's dealing with the golems. They will push you, by the way. They don't just stop in your face. They shove. No. Is he going to make it? Okay. I was wondering if he was going to do the risk and try to get the third one, but it looks like uh, he kept it. Yeah, he, he played it cool there. <sighs> and he's making really? it through pretty easily. Oh, Devolution gets two of the skulls unleashed, but manages to dodge them. So he'll be moving on from that level as well. But uh, Dark Fox is still... What's going on? Why is he on this stage? Did, did he... Oh, yeah, this is the next stage after the four Medusa. Yeah, he, he was stuck on that stage for a very long time. Okay, so he just cleared that. So he's on the first real puzzle challenge room. Well, Sully is still trying to figure out how to deal with these skulls. Well, it looks like my stream of his froze for a bit long. I'm gonna refresh that. I don't know where he's at. So this, this level that Aaron is on right now is notoriously a giant pain. Because one of the key things that they might not know, you can walk over that chest when it's closed. Oh. And he figured that out almost instantly. Congratulations, Aaron. You're going to move on from one of the harder levels almost instantly. Slow yeah, clap. this one I surprisingly figured out pretty easy as well. That's, uh... Because it's easy to not realize you can walk over the treasure chest. Yep. So that's it. Aaron wins. He's made it past floor two. That was a relatively quick... quick time right there. The goal was a oh. little bit short, but... still overall pretty good. If you make this goal much longer, uh, there's going to be a bad time. So it looks like Sully has figured out the skulls as well here. Which is not bad. He actually figured out that level quicker than the other players did. So it is to know, again, the way that this lays out, these are 1v1 matches. We just are showing two of them at the same time to spare the game pool and make things a little more interesting. So right now, the only matchup that the only thing Aaron had to worry about was beating Sully specifically. Now that he's done that, he will be moving on to round two. So the match between Devolution Derby and Dark Fox is still a match. Either one of these two could win at this point. Um, and still move on, even though the one of the racers has finished. Because, again, they don't necessarily care about where everybody is in general. So Dark Fox has, uh, is trying to approach the solution to this one. is kind of a little bit backwards, I feel. He's got the right ideas, but he is definitely not executing properly. And he's going to realize that he, he doesn't have enough blocks to go on. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't help to collect the... the corner. Yeah, because uh, if I'm not mistaken, you cannot collect that at the same time and, and hope that the Medusa heads won't kill you, because they will kill you before you collect the... before you collect the treasure. If you step into their square at the same time. So he's gonna he's going to learn that right now. Unless he's gonna attempt to he attempts to free the block and realizes that the thing that I said earlier was not correct. You can't do that. 
So we have Devolution Derby on the final stage now. Yeah, you just all he's got to do is figure out that you can step on top of that treasure chest. I mean, that's really the only thing that's hard about this level is, oh, I can step across the treasure chest. That makes everything so much easier. And unless you try, you don't know that. So it looks like he might get stuck in that loop there of not realizing that that's possible. It looks like Sully is going for the laps right now, trying to get the last two over here. And no, I agree, Aaron. It's really easy to end up being pushed into a corner uh, on that. That's for sure. Like it's easy to push it just an accidental half block push, and once you do that, it's over. You messed up. Yeah, I wish it wouldn't do the half block, because at least the half block gives you like a thing of hope, like, oh, maybe I can put it back, and, and you're like, nope, no, you can't. Just so crushes sure your if, hopes and dreams. I'm not sure if I'm on a delay or ahead of you on the stream. It looks like Sully just got blocked off after getting the final heart. Ouch. Uh, right now, he only has two on my stream. I could be behind. I'll refresh in a few seconds here because it did uh, freeze up for a little bit. Actually, he just passed the stage, so he's on the final stage now. Don't know if that's where you're at or not. Nope, I am behind you. Okay. Let's see if we can get this to refresh. So yeah, both Dev and Sully are on the final stage here. We'll see how long it takes for them to uh, complete it. Yeah, I guess mine's not letting me catch up. You might just have to like close and reopen it. Eh, it's fine. No, eh, that's probably true. Actually, I can just do this. Dark Fox and still refresh. just trying to figure out these Medusa heads right now. Those are the most vicious enemy in the game because it's so easy to not notice that they're there. Yep, especially since there is that uh, distance. Because with the one on the very left edge, it won't hit you if you're in that portion on the right. It's as soon as you get into its perimeter that it will get you there. Okay, so, uh, as Aaron pointed out in chat, the fact that you can walk on the chest was mentioned in the pace bin, apparently. Yep. Can confirm. Yeah. So, again, <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. If you are playing in any mystery event, be it mystery puzzle challenge, mystery tournament, whatever you're doing, read the paste bin. It is the submitter and the testers giving you the edges that you need to make the game bearable under most parts. Because it is so easy to see that chest as a wall and just not bother stepping on it. And it looks like Sully had the guts to step on the chest. He's, like, realizing it, too. I think he paused for a moment going, wait, I can do this? <laughs> and that really just brings this entire level together. Once you can realize you can step on that chest, it's basically a simple process to finish this game level. Which solely looks like he will be doing, coming in second place here. Oh, I mm. said that, and then he got threatened by a Medusa. <laughs> Scared me, Sully. You had me worried. Yeah, that was super close. And there we go. Sully finishes with a time of 25.58. Very nicely done. So at this point, we still just have the match between Dark Fox and Devolution Derby. And Dev is right there at the end. He's just got to realize that stepping on that treasure chest is a possibility.
That's one thing that I like about this game is that it's it's very simple with the mechanics and does a lot with them, especially because it'll keep adding different enemy types. Uh, yep. But I love one-room puzzles. They are one of my favorite puzzle types, the kind where you get just this one area that you have to figure out all the things and how they interact with each other and solve it based on that. So it looks like Dev is trying to do something, trying to do something flashy with halfway put block pushes, but I don't it's... think it's gonna help. Yeah. Because he still needs a block. And it looks like he's just trying to recover a block from one of the sides. But you, once a block is in front of a Manusa, you cannot free it without getting something else to take its place. It is stuck in the demon mirror trap. I'm sure I'll figure it out. But Dar Dark Fox is still quite a bit behind. I mean, I say quite a bit, but he only has, what, two levels, right? This one and then the one where they all surround you? I do believe so, yeah. So if he can figure this out, and if he walks on that chest faster than, than Dev does, he wins. That's why these are anybody's game at any time until it's finally over. There is... No knowing who's going to win until the last moment. Because at any point, anything simple can wall you because you just don't see it. And your opponent does. They see it faster than you do. They make the right moves at the right time. They execute properly. And now you are behind. Oh, Derek Fox almost had it, but pushed the block out of the way. Come on, Dev. I believe in you. Step on the chest. Take a risk. Don't assume that it's a wall. Maybe assume that it'll kill you, and then die just to see that how it kills you. That's the thing, too. <laughs> Interact with everything. That's basically what this puzzle game really is, is just figure out interactions, learn how this, that, and the other thing move with each other. There are there are rivers later on in the game where you need to turn enemies into eggs and then push them into the river and step on them and float along the river in order to get to other locations. See how things interact with each other. Getting enemies to mess up other enemies is another common thing that you'll see in this game. So, you know, if you're not doing something as simple as stepping on the chest, just to see if you can, I mean, you basically, you're losing due to an assumption. I can see that. It definitely does have a, a bit of a Chips Challenge vibe to it. I mean, Chips Challenge was all about pushing blocks around, too, and collecting keys and move, making the right moves, but Chips... Challenge had kind of a lot more mechanics to it. Um, again, this game only really adds mechanics in terms of enemy types. Your abilities, your defined motions, are going to maintain throughout. So Dark Fox gets there. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed the skulls. Oh no. He's still got to do the skulls. Yep. Are you ready for this death? I can see it coming. He's going for it. Oh, I think he's starting to realize, wait a second, this looks like a trap. He's, <laughs> look at this hesitation too, he's like, this is a trap, isn't it? Yup, it's a trap. Yep, yep. Curses, I should have known the whole time. He does realize that uh, he does need to block him off now, though. I 
Again, if he figures out that button push that you gotta that you gotta turn the the enemies into eggs, like that'll give him some extra time. It's unfortunate that Dev is still getting hung up on that. He's he's got the win if he could just make that one move. I mean, just the one thing is where it'll get you. Oh, and he does it. He moves over the chest. Uh oh. He realizes a world of possibilities in front of him. Let's see if he <laughs> figures it out next time. You you just step on that chest and you just kind of. You know, if you've been stuck on here for a while, I'm pretty sure that smack to the forehead was pretty solid. It's almost there. So is there. he realizing that he can't push the block over the chest? Is that what he's realizing? Oh. Uh, like Garrett was saying, that the teaches you that the eggs hatch. That is true too, because it does it does become a very important thing in later levels. Because you can oh, Dark Fox just figured out that you can make eggs. All right. I don't know. This one's coming close though. Now. And Dev moves across the chest. Here we go. Does he know how to figure out the rest, or how to finish the rest of it? It looks like he put them in bad positions, so... He's definitely not gonna get it in this pass. But Dark Fox is getting that clear right now. Because all the skulls can do is just sit there and cackle at you. So, Dark, Dark is now facing too. off against the really, really, really annoying room. Yeah, he's learning what the golems do. <laughs> yeah, those those golems are quite frankly the worst. Uh, absolutely, it's almost as bad as the sleeping enemy room. But it's once you figure out that sleeping enemies, how they work, you kind of sort of solve it. But this one is just crazy. So, Dev still hasn't quite figured it out yet. He knows he can walk over the chest, he just doesn't realize what that means for him. He doesn't realize the... the... He doesn't realize the way that, that those blocks are gonna have to be pushed around with that chest being open. As Dark Fox continues to just run for his life. Cause that's all you do in this level. You run around and you hope that and you try to get them on the on a cycle basically. And run behind them. He goes for it. Oh, but he got trapped. Ah, oh, the pain. Let's see if he tries a strategy of clearing all of them on one side, it looks like. And it works for him. He's got the left side done. Mm -hmm. Just approach it one at a time. Oh, he walked right past the fact that that guy was paying, not paying attention to him. But I guess he's trying to do the middle first.
Looks like Ouch. they're just still just trying to figure out uh, the stage here. He had a specific way he was trying to do something. So yeah, Dev's still been on this stage for a while now. So he he's got the key at least, and he's using it every time. It's just that he's still not sure what position the blocks have to be in. It seems. Fox trying to sneak up on those hearts. I believe, Fox, you can escape the golem paint. Ooh. Did he just wait on that golem to wait for cycles to move through? Good call, but... That thing turns around real quick, like... Oh, judging from the way he restarted that, I think Dev understands now. We'll see if we get a clear from him soon. Yeah, he doesn't move that block over instantly. I think he finally understands what he needs to use those blocks from. Yep. Here he goes. I think we got it. And Dev takes the win. How do you do, Race Bot Aries? What was his time? Uh, officially we had 38:10 when he dot done, but timing it now it was 38:09. So, same thing. Good job. So Dev will be moving on to round. I keep saying round two, but it's actually round three unless he was one of the two people in the first round matches. Yep. Because 34 is a really weird number to be in a tournament. <laughs> it turns out causes you to have two people, two lucky contenders, that are not seated. This is entirely chosen at random, or at least if you believe whatever he says, it's chosen at random. I'm not entirely sure, man. Hey, man. The challenge randomized seed button. Unless it's rigged, I got nothing to do with it. I don't know. It did kind of sort of put some girl in round one, and she has a... From what I've seen, she has a habit of somehow ending up in round one, even on the loser's bracket and the like. Maybe Chalange just, like, doesn't like some girl. <laughs> Alright, he's just now fighting with those for the last cycles, trying to make sure he doesn't get trapped. Sneaks past! Come on, Dark Fox! I believe... Two more to go! <laughs> this level is so annoying. I cannot even begin to, like... Truly explain how annoying it really is. Because it is just that bad. Oh yeah, it turns out I forgot Dark Fox and Dev are actually in the first round. Okay, that's what I thought. I seem to recall one of them, because that means that both some girls, with some girls match and everything, we have completed all round one tournament. Yep. Rounds, so congratulations, we made it through round one. Now we just got a complete round two. Oh, is he gonna get this? Oh! Yeah. He almost had it, but he missed it. There he goes, he's waiting. Uh, yeah, I'm still a little behind, I'm sure. Yep, just a little bit. He'll catch up. It's some good jukes, some pro jukes in there. So Dark Fox moves on to the final stage. How long will it take him to realize you can step on that chest? This game was raced as part of Mystery Tournament 11. Um, and so I've seen this exact scenario before, where they don't step on the chest. It was it was a, a thing that we saw exactly like this, and it cost the win in, in Mystery Tournament as well. I don't know if I have that stream saved or not. Sounds pretty epic, though. Who it is. Because you didn't read the pace bin. So, I'm going to do a shameless plug if that's okay with you. Go for uh, it. 
Of note, I restreamed a vast majority of the Mystery Tournament 11 matches on my channel. There are VODs for most of them, so if you're interested in seeing just how much of a cluster some of these can be, um, I definitely recommend watching the Bonks Revenge race and the uh, Zardion race in particular if you want to see some, some things that will hold you up. Um... Yeah, and I'll be also... Mystery Tournament 12 is starting soon, so if you like the idea of this Mystery Puzzle Challenge, and you kind of want to get into it, like, legitimately, the way that I found out about Mystery Tournament was when they did their block at GDQ, and this entire time I've been constantly watching the speedruns and like, and it's like, you know, I don't have the... I don't have the patience to be able to deal with learning speedruns. I, I... They say everybody can do it, but I have mental issues that prevent me from doing it. And then they were like, oh, you don't need to do speedruns, you just gotta have natural innate skill and figure things out quickly. And so I ended up joining Mystery Tournament. So, unfortunately, sign-ups for Mystery Puzzle Tournament are down now, but... are, are already over. But if you do th run this again, you know, if you're watching this, get in on the fun. It is a lot of fun. And with Mystery Tournament 12 happening, you'll be seeing a lot, um, I'll be restreaming most of the Mystery Tournament 12 matches on my Alter Chan- on my Blind Race channel, Mystery Funhouse. Which is sometimes posting emotes... in <laughs> chat. I don't know, maybe it's gained sentience. Maybe I'm- I'm also working with it at the same time. Who knows. Anyways, there's my shameless plugs while we watch, uh... Watch Dark Fox take it away. One thing that uh, did happen during uh, your spiel there was that he did actually step over the chest, and then I think he realized something because he reset the stage. But I don't think he realizes what it really means to be able to step on the chest. Yeah, because it's really hard to shake the reaction of grabbing that block and shoving it to the right instantly. Because, like, as soon as you do it, the match is, the, the level's done for. Yep. But it's, well, I guess you could do it on the other side, though. Oh, you might have an idea. He's definitely got ideas here, he's just not sure exactly how to execute. Because one of the ways to tell that somebody is on the path to solving the puzzle at this point, and that they're... is when you see them start making moves and then immediately resetting, realizing, oh, that doesn't work that way. So every yep. time you see them reset a little bit early, it's a big leap towards progress on finishing. So when you were testing this, what, um, how did you feel about this game? I thought the game was pretty good, um, I definitely wasn't as stuck on this stage as long as some people were on here, and, uh, I got stuck on other parts of this game. I think the hardest part really was, um, the one with the two Medusa heads, one on the left and one at the top, but another stage that I felt really stupid at was actually early on, it was the one where the chest was, a. Uh, at the bottom left and there was the armadillo dude. I, for some reason, just couldn't click how to move those pieces over there. It took me like 10 minutes before I cleared that stage. Oof. Rest of it was a breeze. That one stage, just for some reason, I could not mentally grasp how to move those blocks around. Oh, he just pushed one of the blocks the right way. He's gotta realize it. This is, this is it. He, he's got it where he needs it. He's just got to try to figure out the rest of it, basically. And he undoes. 
after he resets. <laughs> oh, that's always so painful. He's so close. Right now he's just contemplating on what he needs to actually do. So we've had um we've had twelve matches at this point, I think. No, more than that. We've had How many times have we done the restream? We've we've we had my match last night. And we had oh, a match a earlier one. today. And then this match here, so that's actually three within one calendar day. I'm interested, like, we're actually moving pretty quickly through the first round bracket here. Mm-hmm. There's only a couple more matches to go. We should, in theory, be all done by Saturday, actually. So, of note, the winner of this match, uh, Dark Fox versus Devolution Derby, so Dev will be moving on to face Saiho in round two there. Um, that's going to be an interesting match. I'm actually hyped for that match. Saiho is known in Mystery Tournament as the Resident Puzzle God. Uh, he's normally pretty quick about him, especially with uh, the way that he thinks, especially if it's a puzzle with a unique solution. Basically, that's the best way I can describe what he's best at. Is in a game like Lolo, for instance, he's pretty well off because there are unique solutions. Um, so this is definitely going to be a good match. So we have one, two, three. Oh, I think Dark Fox might have realized that he's almost at the solution. No. We have seven matches remaining in round one. Not bad for a Wednesday. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Sully said I'll have to meet the loser. Well, keep in mind, Sully, you did actually beat didn't he? He beat, um... Did he beat Dev there? I think his time was before Dev's, yeah, right? Yeah, he beat him by almost... Well, he had a time of 25, Dev has a time of 38, so... Yeah, so, I mean, you, you still him. got a chance. You're not out of this yet. Nobody is out of this just from losing the first match. We won't see our first, room, uh, our first elimination until sometime next week, I think. Yeah, during Losers. Oh, Dev or Dark Fox has figured it out. It's just he pushed that block a little bit too far, and he fixes it. All right. Looks like he's got the solution. I'm assuming it's a he. I'm hoping it's a he. Oh, yeah, it's a he. We're and Get gets steps. it. Race over, GG. Let's see that official time there of 50 se minutes and 42 seconds. Yeah, overall, pretty good. I mean, some people finished it before 30 minutes, some people finished after 30 minutes. It's just the luck of the draw. Yeah, don't... When, when people start complaining about short goals, realize that it's impossible. It is factually impossible 
to hit a goal wherein everybody is going to complete in that 20 to four or in that 30 to 40 minute range, because some people are just much better at realizing certain puzzle types than other people. I mean, realize that if you tested it for those areas, you know, that means that there's obviously somebody reaching in that range and you're probably better than some of the people out there. So, but this was definitely a good goal. Floor three would have been a lot more frustrating, frustrating, and clearly would have taken a lot longer. Oh yeah. All right, so I guess that's it for us, huh? Yeah, that's about it. Um, just want to figure out when the next match is supposedly taking place tomorrow, because I do believe okay. there is one taking place. I appreciate everybody having me here. It's been fun commentating on these uh, puzzle matches. So tomorrow at 7 o'clock, we have our match with uh, FFR Pro 21 versus Green Z Saber. We have Windu versus Some Girl. So that's going to be an interesting match. And then uh, looks like that might be the only streamed match for that for tomorrow. The next stream match will happen. Looks like there'll be two stream matches that happen t uh, the day after. And then Saturday, it looks like, will be the remaining matches that get streamed. So uh, basically tune in tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern, and there will be a match. I definitely will do that. You guys should, too. That's what he's saying. You guys should. He's not talking to me. Join us. Come watch the game. All right, any final words? Yeah, Flux Ox and Awesome. All right. See you guys.